Yes then guys, how are you all doing? My name is Morsi and welcome back to my channel. I hope you had a fantastic weekend so far, enjoying the football. It is Man City v Liverpool right now and Mo Salah has just poked home the lead as it stands, which is a big upset if Liverpool might want. Is it an upset? It's a big win for Liverpool, at least if they clutch up. But enough waffling, the mini release for the Rule Breakers team one is here and Lucas Robertone is the man we're checking out first. We've also got Leon Bailey and Chikorito Hernandez. Bailey are 100% be trying out after this one, so stay tuned for that. But this card looks really decent, medium high, Good work race, can be a bit weird, but he can play in a CDM and center mid as well. So don't worry too much. Four star, four star, 70,000 coins. That price will 100% be dropping throughout this video. So I'm essentially losing coins as we go. So let's get a move on lads. But the card itself looks really, really well rounded. Defensively solid. Defensive awareness is a little bit low, but look at the stand tackle, the slide tackle. He's gonna be a little pit bull. Feisty little midfielder with the aggression as well. The stamina is there. A little bit of strength, the agility, the balance. 97 agility, by the way. This man should feel super quick, super cracked on the ball. Reactions and composure aren't really in that super meta bracket. This should be okay. Passing stats look pretty consistent and going forward with the shot power to finish him. I like what I'm seeing. He also has the finesse shot trait and the flare traits. A really nice looking card. The issue is links, well basically links because I've got a full Spanish league team essentially to get him in. I don't know about SL UD Almelia in regards to teammates which you could use to get chemistry or Argentinian players potentially, but this is what I am rocking so far. Let me quickly double check my man on footbin and see what chem style we're going. By the way, boys, I clutched up in the weekend league. 16 and 3. Talk to me. Ah, uh, mate, it was unbelievable. We were playing some seriously good FIFA. Shadow or Anchor. I'm assuming a lot of people are playing this man as a, a CDM, which is what I'm going to do as well. We're going to follow trend. Why not? Uh, but yeah, 16 and 3. Let me know down below what you got in your weekend league. And let's get into this gameplay. Div 2, drop me a like if you're excited. Let's do it. Right, game number one. My man has a Liverpool badge. And a red... Oh, wow. Wow, okay. A nice little team. Kessie's in there. Red, Jao, Cancelo and Correa. Decent little reds my man got this weekend then by the looks of it. Come on now, boys. Robertone, game number one with the boy. Immaculate dribbling stats. The agility. Already he's feeling pretty lively on the ball. I don't know, Carl. All right, Robertone. I don't know why the, um, the name's on above their heads. That's really weird. A little bit feisty. As expected, boys, he's feeling good on the ball. Feeling really good. In control, not super fast though, as you can see. He's looking a little bit sluggish, but still. I think it's the ball control that's making him feel a little bit quicker. All right, Robertone. Ooh, I went for the give and go. Just couldn't quite get that extra pass through though. This boy's a little bit quick. It's Frank Kessie, man. This man's a demon. He's a demon. I can't stand playing against him. Into Robertone. Mate, honestly, this card feels good on the ball. It must be the agility. It must be. He's not lengthy as well, boys. So, uh, you old gem players, you know, you don't have to worry about that at all. Doesn't have to cross your mind whatsoever. Um, but still, I'm liking what I see so far, man. We've got a sweaty game on our hands as well, by the way, boys. This is Div 2 gameplay. I need to be in Div 1. It... it, it where, where's my defence, by the way? Is that not a penalty as well? What have I seen? All right, Robertone. Little touch and drill it. Fantastic bit of play. Oh, a little bit low. We get lucky, though. We can move. Little man Pedri. Into Danj. Danj could drive. Oh, could have daddy get in the bin. Hey, let's go. Look at him. Tracking back, doing a stint. Bombing forward as well. Kind of want to try and find him, you know. Pedri's done really well. One more. Uzi boozy. Robertone, it has to be, and it is the debut goal, man. Everything about that was perfect. He wins the ball with the interception, supports the play, goes offside originally, gets back into the fantastic little spot in the middle there. Completely unmarked, one touch, and the power. No keeper saving that, boys. What a start to this man's debut. And he's on the ball again, boys. Instigator. Oh, so close. I don't know what happened at the end there. Almost like glitched. I thought Saliba's like piggybacked him a little bit. Um, but yeah, it feels so good on the ball, man. Gliding across the pitch. Out your feet, Danje. Oh, I just can't find CR7. One card we've also got that's uh, just been announced from SBC's boys is Alex Tellez. I'm staying away myself purely because I've got Furlan Mendy and Tradable. And um, I'm just going to utilise as much of that as possible. But he looks reasonable for the price as well. Dan Juma, let's go boys, 2-0. 
2 0. By the way, that through ball from Mendy was phenomenal. I just smashed it. RBNA absolutely pinged it. It wasn't even meant to be a through ball, but it worked out perfectly. And uh, that's a cheeky two goal cushion. Come on. One thing to also consider with this card. Lovely bit defending, lads. Is a, a lot of similar options in that position in the La Liga. Pedri's one, for example, cheap. Not quite as um, well-rounded as Robertone. You know, he doesn't offer too much going forward. Uh, he's mainly just a really nice dribbling uh, centre midfielder. But we've got Frankie De Jong, we've got Marcus Llorente, who's definitely preferred by a lot of pro players. Like, there's a lot of options, so it's nice to have this man in there as well. I'm hoping, boys, I'm hoping that he's going to get overlooked massively and his price is going to keep dropping and we're going to be looking at like a maybe even a 20 to 40k price bracket. That is my uh, my aim. That's my wish. And if that is the case, boys, that is a dream. But hopefully I don't lose too many coins while I'm doing this review. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. Sterling's movement there is really good to get in behind my defender. Uh, Ben's kept, kept us cool and picks him out. Game on. Oh, why is Ronaldo not locked on to that, lads? Passing in this game is so fraudulent at times, man. I swear down, they've got a mind of their own. Like, you're trying to make passes, obvious passes to yourself. Like, you know where you're aiming. Just never goes there. Well done, Carl. Robert Tony, bomb forward a little bit. Overlap Pedri. There we go, in this space. Little stepovers. Lovely little ball as well. We can move, boys. Pedri doesn't quite have the legs, but Robert Tony's in a decent spot here. God, boys, he feels so good. He feels so good on the ball. Frankie. Oh, we got lucky. Sima squeaked the shot off, but it's not really jumping the keeper, that, is it? Oh, boys, we did it all. We did it all. But it's a wrath of Iran in the middle. He's just not going to get on the end of it. But Robert Tony, he's read it. Lovely little bit of play for the man. Plays in Pedri as well. Ah, Jules getting the bin. Oh, lads. So much space, boys. And Dan is not going to miss. On the half time, literally, last kick of the game, we get that third goal. And that is huge. I'm really enjoying this card, by the way. Initial impressions, you know, he's got something about him. He's a feisty little midfielder. Feels really, really smooth and pretty much uh, consistent on the ball. Dribbling, awesome. Skill moves are there as well. So, you know, utilize the force now if you want to. The shooting as well, man. The power on that strike was very, very nice. Positioning was good. The link-up play and interceptions. The stand tackle and slide tackle stats are fantastic as well. Just a decent looking card so far. Yes, Robert Tone. Another, another big interception for the man. And we can move. Little counter-attack action. I see they've still not fixed this corner corner madness then, have they? It's basically like a penalty every time you get a corner these days, boys. It's an absolute joke. He's there again, boys. It's another one. The little feisty old boy in the middle of the pitch. Absolutely dominated. Come on, Kyle. Afterburners. Go, go, go. Lengthiness. Oh, we get super lucky. We get super lucky and I will take that all day. Uzi boozy Dembele. Come on, lads. Let's go. Oh, Pedri? Bro, what? Pedri's getting nice of it, boys. Uh, I swapped to the wrong player. I swapped to De Jong. I wanted to go over to Kyle. And that's an easy finish, man. Come on. Some nice FIFA, lads. This is nice. Saul off. The big man. On a plate for CR at number eight. <laughs> Sorry if you get annoyed that I don't change his number to seven, boys. It's a bit of a, a running meme on my Twitch. But CR8 pokes it home, man. Nice little goal. Luca involved as well with the build-up. Big one, that. And another interception to add to his tally, lad. This man's taken over. Saul off's a sick joke, by the way, boys. He's a sick joke. That's a six free rage crit. 100%. This man's outside the foot shots a different gravy. Honestly, I say it every single time I use him. He is honestly phenomenal. Like, you can't go wrong with the boy. Uh, but 6-3, a massive win for the lads. Lucas Robertone on the score sheet as well. He's kind of drifted off into a massively honest offside position. It bombs himself back in there. Perfectly placed. On the edge of the box. One touch and release the crack. Look at that for a finish, man. Look at the power. 
four star weak foot as well. That is a absolute belter. My man could find the back of the net. So he's going to be reliable to an extent. All right, not super consistent in front of goal. But if you're playing him as a CDM, you shouldn't rely on it too much. But never fear if you're in that situation, utilize it. But I reckon this guy could honestly sneak under the radar and become a hidden gem voice. Let me check his price real quick um, because I've inevitably lost coins. I'm not too sure exactly how to spell his name. No, that's not it, is it? What is it? Oh, it's 1B. Okay, we were close. We were close. Um, if he's anywhere between 20 to 40K by the time you're watching this, lads, like, I think it might be a bit of a bargain. Like, links can be a bit of an issue, like, unless you're rocking. Is he under 50K yet? Come on. Okay, he's holding a bit of a price. 60s. Oh, maybe I'm completely wrong, boys. Hold up. 70K, and that's going to be bought instantly. Okay, so he's holding this price nicely, which is kind of what you expect with mini-release cards because there's not too many packs being opened. But just I'd hang fire. Don't dive into it yet because he will drop down a little bit more. Wait for him to go definitely towards that 40k price bracket. And then it is a bit of a no-brainer in my opinion. He was phenomenal. Very similar to Frankie de Jong in a lot of aspects. Similar in the pace department. Similar in the height and the dribbling I think is what it is. And that's my ideal kind of CDM slash box-to-box centre mid on this game. Is basically Frankie de Jong. So having another one in the team, like, almost feels better on the board than Frankie is, is awesome, boys. A massive W in my opinion. I am going to keep hold of him for now. I know it's a bit crazy. I'm going to use him. I'm going to go get Leon Bailey. That's the next one, who's also quite difficult to link into the team, but we'll try and get it done, boys. Drop me a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you're new, by the way, and enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I will catch you soon.